Hello Gemini and welcome to my uh, channel Attila Tarot. Uh, first of all I would like to thank for all of you for uh, watching and liking my previous videos. I'm very very grateful for that. Uh, today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you, are, you can expect uh, in the areas of love and relationships for the month of April. As usual, this is a general reading, so play, please take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Or, play, or take a look at your other placements. Uh, so Gemini, it seems like that um, in the middle of, center of your reading is the Page of Wands, which the Page of Wands can mean a lot of things, uh, dependent on whatever your... Uh, relationship status is or whatever uh, dependent on what kind of um, relationship you are in. Um, generally it is uh, good news, phone call, something fresh, something che cheerful, like a spark, uh, a new wave of passion. Um, so if you if you if you are single, it can mean that somebody new is coming into your life. If you are uh, unhappy in a relationship, then it's an indication that it's a make or break time. Uh, and um, if you are in a good relationship, it it can indicate a new wave of passion as well. But let's see what are uh, the other cards are telling us. You do have the Nine of Pentacles, you do have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is, is usually somebody who achieved a lot, who has high standards uh, and, uh, and is able to balance a love and independence. Um, generally it can indi indicate um, independence or or it can in indicate that you're trying to find uh, how much relationship you want and how much uh, um, freedom you want uh, then you do have the queen of swords the queen of swords um, it can indicate a person who's honest truthful candid very protective chatty uh, very communicative uh, realistic and very objective um, if you are in a relationship it can indicate that uh, a person that's missing their freedom and their independence and you do have the Queen of Cups uh, who is a very mature emotional uh, person who's warm kind faithful and uh, and uh, open and honest um, so it seems like uh, that that what I can I can kind of see here uh, because you know the Queens uh, and the court cards generally can indicate a person or a person coming into your, your life with, uh, with a certain trait so if you are in a relationship what I can see that you have two people in this relationship uh, one of them is uh, all about uh, being faithful, loyal, warm. The other one is kind of missing their freedom. Uh, and, 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 and it seems like that um, what's happening in this relationship is, is finding the balance between uh, being together and uh, being alone or, or being free. If, if you are single, um, it seems that, that you know, um, you are very picky, uh, you have high standards for your, um, your uh, partners and you are rather be alone than be with somebody. Uh, and, and it is poss possible that, that somebody, uh, somebody is coming, uh, somebody new is coming into your life. Um, but let's see what's, uh, what else is happening. You do have the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Uh, so the Six of Pentacles is all about uh, balance. Um, 
uh, it seems that you know you're really trying to balance uh, being kind with each other it's a give and take uh, you are um, you are you are uh, pretty much uh, whatever you invest into the relationship you are uh, getting that uh, back uh, the page of ones is is uh, it's uh, we kind of talked about it that it's it, it really depends on your your relationship styles. I kind of feel that if you are in a relationship, this is really um, about trying to balance the freedom and uh, and and being together. And it's it's the it's make or break time. You guys really need to uh, figure it out that are you staying together or are you uh, uh, are you separating. If you are single, uh, that's definitely an indication that some new uh, person is coming to your way. Uh, that's going to be a, a, a fresh new spark in your life. Uh, and then you have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is, is not an easy card. It's, uh, it can indicate backstabbing, betrayal, bitterness, um, bad-mouthing. So if you are in a relationship, um, it can be uh, an indication of betraying or be or cheating on each other. Um, it can be an indication of breakup or divorce or separation. Which um, I'm kind of not surprised if you are in a relationship and you've been trying to figure out your. Uh, balance of freedom versus being in the relationship and 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 again the whole uh, in that case the whole question is making or breaking it so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if it was coming to uh, a separation or um, having something on the side some kind of a spark or a fling if you are single then this card in can indicate that uh, you might be still reeling from your old breakup. You might still not over it. You might still trying to recover from it. So take it as it resonates. But let's con uh, let's see what's the final outcome is. But before that, please don't forget to share, uh, like, and subscribe. That's an indication that the message had uh, resonated with you, and uh, it also helps me to in to increase the channel. But let's continue. You do have the Ten of Wands, you do have the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Tower. So you, first of all, you have two Tens. Two Tens uh, definitely indicate an end of a cycle in your life. So something is, is changing, uh, it seems like. Uh, but let's talk about the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is, is, is usually an indication of being overburdened, overloaded, stressed. It can be an indication of something that started out as a good idea, but now it is a burden. Um, and uh, and it, it, it seems like that if you're in a relationship, you and your partner are taking each other's granted, and, and now this relationship is more of a burden than a fun. If you are single it can be that it can mean two things you might be too stressed you too overloaded from work to even find time to date for dating uh, but it can be as well that uh, you are just tired of dating um, first it was fun but but now it's okay another date you're kind of annoyed and then you have the seven of pentacles which is um, generally a card of waiting uh, where you are really coming waiting to see is this worth or is it not it's like you invested a lot in this um, and then you're really trying to see that uh, is this coming to fruition or or not uh, so in this case I can I can kind of see that uh, you and your partner will reflect if you are in a relationship that you and your partner will reflect that okay um, is this still worth continuing or or not uh, you're gonna have some uh, conversations 
um, and and you kind of reflect on what happened, um, whether there was cheating, whether there was uh, other sparks, or whether you just want to be free, or, or 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 what is burdening you. I think I think you guys will have some um, reflection time where you're gonna try to see if what what should uh, where should should you go from here, and and you kind of see the results, and and you're gonna be able to decide whether it is worth to continue or not. If you are single, this can be a card of uh, reflection in terms of um, your previous relationship and learning from it. And then you do have the tower. Now, the tower is, is the card of chaos, destruction, unexpected change, something that... Um, you are not looking forward to happen, but but it comes into your life, and and it's actually liberating. Uh, so if you are in a relationship and you are contemplating whether you should stay with this person or not, I can see that you might end up uh, deciding to break up. You really have two cards indicating that. Um, now the tower not, doesn't necessarily uh, have to mean a breakup or a divorce. Uh, it can mean as well that um, if your relationship survives this, it's gonna be change and it's gonna be a totally different relationship. It can mean that you are destructing your old beliefs. So, so whatever your your expectation was from a relationship, it can totally change and and you might put it put your relationship um, on a new base maybe you guys open the relationship and I'm not sure you need to figure it out uh, with your partner if you are in a relationship if you are single um, this can be a situation where you might actually face why you are single uh, it's gonna be an experience that will teach you something it might teach you humility but it will eventually improve your chances uh, for a happy and healthy uh, relationship uh, but again it's not going to be an easy change um, or an easy experience to learn that whatever it is uh, now these are not easy cards uh, the ten of swords and the tower but but if you are in an abusive relationship, which I hope you are not, then you should definitely get out of it. You should ask for help. You should you should get out because uh, it's it's not healthy, and uh, and 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 you don't want to be in a violent relationship. Uh, but overall, like you know, whatever this change gonna be, uh, even though it cannot be an easy to go through, it's gonna be a very liberating experience once you are done with it you're gonna be free you're gonna feel free um, and continue from there so Gemini that's um, all I have for you uh, and I hope to see you again